Hey guys. Hi. I'm Hannah. And I'm Brandy. And you're listening to Bottle Bottle Blondes Podcast. Podcast. Today we're coming to you live from Mystic Falls. Our guest is a vampire and she needs some blood to wake up. (laughs) Come on, come on. Okay. Here she comes. Okay. How does it feel? You've been dead for 300 years. (laughs) You look beautiful, babe. Thanks. This is Kaden. Uh, I'm sure they've heard us mention you before. The main and mag sisters. So, as Brandy said, we are coming to you live from Covington, Georgia, aka, AKA Mystic, Mystic Falls. Falls, aka Virginia. 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 <laughs> this is our new podcast studio. I really wish it was. <laughs> and for those of you who ask questions about this, because we, it took us a minute to figure out what this was. Stephen, Damon, Damon, Elijah, Klaus. Klaus. I love him. (laughs) So, yeah, it took us a minute. We were like, S Deck? S Deck? We we were like, like, what? We were like, (laughs) So (laughs) Wick. But yeah, it's that's what it stands for. That's what we're saying. Uh, Brandy will be posting a blog on her channel soon. Yes. We will let you guys know when that is up. But here in our house that we're staying in, we have a Salvatore room and a Michelson themed bedroom. It's and beautiful. I found this picture. Awesome. So I'm stealing it. It's Klaus and Elijah. Yeah. I love it. I'm stealing it. It fell out of the book. I don't know why we have this Vervain this close to us. I know. <laughs> Vervain. Um. Is that not hard? It did. <laughs> but, you know, I'm kind of used to it. You know, yeah. I've built up an immunity to it. You know? have to. But we have some Brothers Bond here. Me and Brandy are drinking uh, Brothers Bond with some Coke. And we have our little blood bags. I have AB. Same. I really wanted O. Yeah, I got O. Mm-hmm. Lucky. Yep. It's amazing to be me. This whole episode is going to be about Vampire Diaries and Mystic Falls. Yay! So we're just going to kind of talk a little bit about the show and our trip here, how it's been. We're leaving in the morning, but we have done so much since I'm we got tired. here yesterday. Like, <laughs> we've been running around this whole town. We've been going nonstop since we've been here, literally. So we just had a lot going on. We just wanted to make sure we got to see everything. And it's been really fun. I think we have pretty much saw Mostly yeah. everything, pretty and much. We're still going out yeah. after this. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, there's just a lot to do, a lot that has been done. Yeah. So the first thing we do when we start off our episode is one good thing that's happened to us, and I think we all can collectively agree. Yeah. That this trip and everything that we've saw since yesterday. So I guess we could do yeah. what's been your favorite thing that you saw. Yeah. What's been our favorite thing that we've seen or experienced since we got here not being locked out of the house oh god we're gonna we're gonna go into that that's definitely gonna be (laughs) talked about (laughs) we're gonna get there um brandy what's been your favorite um honestly just like the town square Mm -hmm. or the clock tower and the grill like that's iconic yeah that was pretty cool for sure yeah that's mine (laughs) Um, I think, well, we did a tour yesterday, and that was really awesome. I think as far as that goes, the town square is obviously iconic, the clock tower, Mm -hmm. you know, the Mystic Girl, obviously. But aside from that, um, the Lockwood Mansion was was amazing. (laughs) I I mean, it was so crazy, like, how huge it was. Like, you don't understand when you watch the show how huge it really mm-hmm. is like it is huge and we have so many pictures that we're gonna post and you'll see a lot on the blog guys like you have to go watch the blog mm-hmm. we covered everything guys you will see that but and see. like obviously like we come here and there are people <laughs> living in these houses like, yes so and yeah. some of them are nice enough like the guys that live at the Lockwood Mansion they they let people come into their house right. to and see everything. They, we got to meet them and they're very very nice. They're very yeah. sweet. They're very and sweet they guys. And they have kittens and they little have... goose and little swans. There, there were swans. They were not yeah, goose. They were <laughs> geese. <laughs> there was, they named one they Enzo. Yeah, one of their swans names was Enzo, yeah, which we... I thought was awesome. <laughs> Um, Kaden, what was your favorite? Mine was the Lockwood Mansion. Yeah, oh. but 
But you were talking about how it's like huge. The backyard just yeah. kept going. It kept going and going and going. <laughs> like never in forever. Yeah. Like it had its own pond. And they say like usually the they don't film like inside houses, like you know, they have sets. Mm-hmm. But they said that the Lockwood Mansion, like they liked how the owners decorated it and they was like, Can we just film in your house? Right. <laughs> So, that's pretty cool. And it was cool because they said, like, the cast, even when they weren't filming, like, they would come over and have parties at the Lockwood Mansion. Yeah. Just because they were all, like, cool with the people who They're having in the house. one um, um, in Mar- a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. May 14th <laughs> is $75. Yeah. I really want to I know. I, I wish, worked that morning. I know. Me too. <laughs> like, I'm really tempted to just come back. But, you know. But, yeah, I mean, it's really been amazing. So, um, let's branch off and talk about... Favorite characters from just the Vampire Diaries series. <laughs> I'm going to get into the originals, but just the but Vampire Diaries. But some of them were in Vampire Diaries. Like, we're going to do the originals next. Okay. <laughs> so, just the Vampire Diaries. Obviously, Damon, then. Obviously, Damon. 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 If, okay. Who, yeah. Who's Team Steph in here? Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. I'm sorry. Dog barking. barking. I mean, Damon, from the first moment you see Damon, like you're hooked. From that hello brother, I (laughs) was melting. Like, (laughs) let's be real. So, But honestly, his character development and the way they did him, like, I don't. And the way he looks. It's just a plus. I'm trying not to make it all about that. You know, he's a very well-written character. Right. But that's just a plus. And I always go for the bad guys. You watch the TV shows. You just have to. They're more interesting. So because they all have a way that they became that. Right. Yeah. True. Favorite female character. Okay. What Mm -hmm. about your favorite male and female character? So your favorite male character was Damon. So who's your favorite female character? Caroline or Catherine? I can't pick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I kind of lean two opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah. (laughs) Elena's too annoying. Catherine. She's been through a lot. I, I feel her pain. She's, she's, she's depressed. I well, like Elena, though. I like her, too. Okay, I like her and her friends. development, but... <laughs> calm down. Uh, Catherine... You need to calm down. I like Catherine. I like how they introduce the villains, and then they go back, and you realize why they're that way. Right. And you, I understand it. So... I like Catherine way more than Elena. So, I don't, oh, yeah. She yeah. just looks... Prettier when she was. I relate to She Catherine. does. <laughs> it's weird. So you say Catherine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say Bonnie. 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 I mean, really? I love Bonnie. Like, And they treated her like crap. And they did. And she, she's so underrated. How many times did she die? Like, literally like she's seven times. She's so underrated. Nobody would be alive if it wasn't for Bonnie. Like, That's let's true. be honest. That's true. true. Let's be honest. Honestly, Damon did. Right. Yeah. How many times did she save Damon's life? <laughs> Jeremy, dead. Jeremy, Absolutely. dead. dead. <laughs> Absolutely. So, let's move on to the originals. So, favorite male character from the originals? Klaus. Klaus. <laughs> I'm the hybrid. Oh. Klaus is by you. far, like, the best. Yes. How has Joseph Morgan not, like, been in, like, these big budget movies and winning freaking Oscars? Like, he's so talented. Right. I and agree. we talked to, like, like the guys that on the Lockwood Mansion and some of the tour guides here, and they were just talking about how sweet and nice of a person he is. What got me was he didn't mm-hmm. know that people liked him. Yeah. Like, he didn't know he had fans. So, they, um, our tour guide was talking about, you know, the scene where Klaus goes, because he can't get in Elena's house, he's not invited in, he goes over to the neighbors, picks up the fence, starts throwing off. Like, they were shooting that scene that day. And she was like, they all thought Joseph Morgan, like, he didn't want to talk to fans because... He would never go over there. He would never go down there when they went. And he said that he didn't know he had fans. He said, I thought everyone just, like, Stephen Came for Stephen and, and David. David. Mm-hmm. And they was like, no, we love you. Yeah. And he was so humble and yeah. nice. They say he's very, like, actually shy in person. That's what a lot of people kept saying. Like, he was really bashful and very humble and sweet. Nothing like his character. But they said when that, he got in a scene in that switch flip that he was scary. When he that you would be Klaus, running from him. <laughs> that he was absolutely terrifying. And I could see it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, he's an amazing actor. No, what mm. um, shocked me is when the tour guide was talking about at the Lockwood Mansion, when he, ki- like, screams to kill Elena, mm-hmm. and he's like, kill her or whatever. 
when Michael was trying to kill her, like, I'll kill your doppelganger if you don't come out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Said that when he screamed, kill her, the house shook. Yes. Like, and they heard him, like, down the street. Like, like the neighbors. Blocks away. Blocks away. <laughs> heard him. That's how loud, like, he was. So, obviously, Klaus. Right. Terrifying. <laughs> yes. I also think, you know, Klaus is the obvious favorite. But yeah. I think close second is Elijah. He really is. Honestly. He is. Yeah. I well, love Elijah. He's a man. I mean, he's just a king, really. <laughs> what more can you say? I mean, just the iconic, like, pulling the handkerchief and just wiping his hands some blood. <laughs> like, he's just a gentleman. He's just, like, how an old-school vampire. Yes. I just, I love Elijah. I always have. Even when he was first shown in the Vampire Diaries. Yeah. I just, I loved Elijah. He's so, a man of his word. He's a man of honor. He is mm-hmm. a man of honor. So, female characters in the originals. <sighs> um, I mean, obviously, you, Rebecca, but, yeah. like, obvious, but, like, Freya, I yeah. think she was brought in, and she really fit into their family. She did. Yeah. She really, good. really did. And Davina. Yes. Oh, I love Davina. I love Davina, too. Yeah. She's, who do you think is more powerful, Bonnie or Davina? Davina. Mm-hmm. 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 I think hard. they're they're powerful in their own ways. Mm-hmm. Like I wouldn't say necessarily one is more powerful than the other. I think Bonnie's is more controlled. Yeah. I think that they're both very powerful, but I think Bonnie knows how to control her power yeah. in a better she way learned. than Bonnie. Yeah, I mean, and then Davina. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like Bonnie. She just found out she was a witch when she was in high school, and Davina knew her whole life. Though, right? You know? Yeah. I think Bonnie's a quick learner. But right, yeah. <laughs> she she has to know. They're like six year thing. She just picked up everything. Yeah. Right. Like all different types of magic. I think Freya <laughs> could beat them both, though. Yeah. Freya's underestimated. Yeah. yeah. She's been alive for a thousand years. You know how right. many spells she's. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> she's seen. Yes. I think she's got them both. I think Rebecca might be my favorite. I think I'm a little biased because. I just love Rebecca, and I feel like I try to look like Rebecca. Like, today, the look I was going for when we went out downtown, I was trying to look like Rebecca. Yeah, I was trying to look like Carol. I made a TikTok being Rebecca, but anyway. I was more towards, like, the Lexi. I love love jacket. I I freaking love Lexi. Underrated. Yeah, she is. I feel like she should have been a bigger character in the Vampire Diaries, for sure. Um, But, yes, Rebecca and Freya. Definitely, and Davina, honorable mention in my book. For we didn't sure. talk yeah. about Cole. Oh my god, I know. Yeah, I love Cole too. I love him. Oh, uh, but we can't just say, oh yeah, love him. Yeah. Like, I him. mean, he was mischievous. He was the mischievous younger brother. He did good at that. Well. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be drunk by the time this is over. Oh lord. Ian and Paul, we really do approve. It's amazing. <laughs> yes, it is very good. Y'all, it's really smooth. Mm-hmm. I just haven't drank bourbon ever. It's I'm good, though, It is it? good. I'm not a bourbon drinker, but it is very good. I normally drink whiskey, like Crown and Jack. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's really good, so I approve um, 10 out of 10. I was going to go into another question. What are some of your favorite storylines that they did on either show? I think just the classic, like, the build-up with Damon and Elena. Yeah. Like you said, they drug it out just long enough Mm -hmm. to where you were like, oh, finally. You Mm -hmm. know? It was the perfect amount of time. And, like, the little moments you would notice. Yeah. And so it wasn't, like way too many seasons to make it annoying right i think um like i i feel like vampire Diary season five kind of it was like slowing down a little bit but then season six came along and the kai storyline yes. and the gemini coven yeah that picked it back up for me i definitely like that agree. Was, that was a good move for them i definitely yeah. agree i think the best season of vampire diaries either season three or, or season four yeah, I was thinking season three. Because that's when all the originals were still there. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was there. Yeah. It was great. I think the originals is just as good as the Vampire Diaries, if not better. The storylines in the originals were so good. Mm-hmm. In-depth. In-depth. 
like, bad stories. They were a lot more mature. Like, I feel like they were more for a mature audience. It, I mean, they were just so good. They were so in-depth. And they're all just so good to look at. Marcel yeah. and Vincent. Don't even get me started on Vincent. Because anytime Vincent would come on the screen, I would just drool. Because I freaking love him. Ugh. And I would just, he would be talking, he would just be talking with his hands. And I, I just, I just love, I love Vincent. And I love just the back and forth with Rebecca and Marcel. Mm-hmm, like, yeah. it's like, oh, they're together. Oh, they're bickering. <laughs> but oh, they're together again. And it's like, you know, the back and forth. But I love it. Do you want to talk about your hatred for Haley? I, oh my gosh. I, I have some beef with Haley, and I can't really put my finger on it. It's just something <laughs> about her. Well, like, what is this? Isn't that weird? Why do you not like It is Haley? weird. I will admit that it's weird. She's just not my favorite. Like, she annoyed me. She was annoying in the beginning. Thank like, you. Like, very. Thank you. Like, I don't know what it was about Haley. And in the Vampire Diary, she was okay. But in the originals, I was just like, ugh. <laughs> ugh. I just felt like the whole Jackson thing was stupid. Yeah. They drug yeah. out her and Elijah just for it not to even. Now, I did ship her and Elijah. I will say that her and Elijah were so freaking cute. Mm-hmm. I did not want her to be with Klaus. That was a no-go. But her <laughs> and Elijah were so cute together. I did ship them. Because, I mean, you couldn't deny the chemistry with them. Yeah. You just couldn't deny it. So, I did like them together. Yeah. But as far as Haley on her own, and especially the her and Jackson storyline, I could have went completely without that. Jackson just reminded me of somebody from our small town. It's one of my characters that we don't like. Freaking Cammy. Don't even get me started on Cammy. Yeah, Cammy's not my favorite. She was just she was a Caroline replacement. And mm-hmm. They made her blonde. And they Klaus made... was so, like, protective over her. And it was annoying. It was stupid. Yeah. I'm like, why And then when are you she died, I was like, me. I'm so glad she's out of the way. Like, yeah. thank God. Now we can I go to a real story. I was watching it, and I, like, I was a little bit behind. And I looked it up, and it said that she died. And I was like, okay, I'll continue to watch. <laughs> <laughs> there are some people out there who love them, and I just don't know what's wrong with you. Klaus and Carolina are right there. Yes. I don't care what anybody says. They should have been in game. Um, I'm upset to this day that Klaus and Caroline did not end up together. Yeah. And that's the one thing I would have changed. I feel like I got a lot and they tried to give us a lot, but they still didn't. And I wish. They didn't fulfill the wants. I know. And I (laughs) wish. Yeah, we had that build up. I wish that Damon and Elena would have had a kid and that kid would have been in Legacies. Mm -hmm. That That would have been been good. (laughs) Their kid would have been a lot younger, you know. Like, because yeah. Lizzie and Josie, what were they like, freaking like five or something at the end of Amber Diaries? And yeah. they would, let's see, so their kid would probably be like in middle school or something. They mm-hmm. mentioned on Legacies, they mentioned Stephanie Salvatore. Like, that's their daughter, Stephanie. Yeah, I feel like she named could have after at seven. least made a cameo or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Legacies, what are your thoughts? I know they're conflicted. Um,. As far as my favorite male character, y'all already know it's MG. <laughs> it's a it's a close between MG and Caleb. MG and Caleb, yeah. Yeah. I think I'd have to say MG because MG just has a special place in my heart. I like Ethan, but I think I'm just biased because it's Leo Howard. Yeah, like, facts. if it wasn't Leo Howard, I probably wouldn't like him. I just love MG. Like, <laughs> he had my heart from the beginning. Yeah. That smile just, he won me over. I really like the cast of Legacies. Like, I the do cast too. Seems really cool. I love them. Yes. Yeah. Some of the storylines just don't. I don't know. I just don't because we came like it came right after the original. So we were coming from this really dark place, and then they kind of humor it back up a little bit. Like I liked some of it, but some of it they took it a little bit too far, yeah, and Legacy it just kind of put me. Weird. It put me out of the story. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I love the cast. Yeah. I think the casting is perfect. Oh, and we cannot forget about Daddy Rick. He's the all-time favorite from every single... He's in every single series. Every show. And he is top out of everybody. I mean, he's in all the series. He is original, original, everything. (laughs) And he only gets better looking. He ages like fine wine, just gets better looking the older he gets. 
Mm -hmm. And I bought a candle that smells like him that he made with his own hand. And I paid (laughs) some money for it. And I'm going to burn it in my room when I get home. And I am glad I bought it and I regret it. All right. It smells like Christmas and that's my favorite time of year. Well, anyways. <laughs> you Damon Campbell? Um, oh my god, he is. Um, okay, sorry. He, he I just heard good. Damon and I just kind of melted. <laughs> he smelled like a man. It smelled he like did. a manly he smelled man. Good. Yeah. I was looking for a Klaus and I could not find a Klaus he, They were putting Klaus in there. He Damn. was sold out. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when we came to this town, like the, even the locals and everybody, like everybody loves Damon and Klaus. Yeah, everybody yeah. that lives here, mm-hmm. like, and you can see it with all the merchandise that we're like. Yeah, they do. Little um, fact for them: the family that lives in Elena's house has never seen an episode. Yeah. Yes. Of the Vampire Diaries. That yes. is insane. You and live in an iconic house, and you, your house is famous. So, and they know it's famous. Yes. Yeah. They just said that they know it's like the most famous house in town, and everyone wants to come take pictures of it. But they've never watched an episode. And like we actually went by there today because we were going to take some pictures. But they were all sitting out on the front porch, and, like, there's a little girl, and I was like, you know that little girl is sitting in the spot that Elena and Damon kissed at for the first time, and she doesn't know how iconic that is. Yeah, that is just yeah. a shame to It's me. a shame. i go back to Legacies yeah, real quick, because I just to wanted to point out, okay, I'm sorry to the actor that I'm going to bash this character so hard. I'm sorry, <laughs> Arya, um, but I hate Landon. I don't like Landon either. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did at first. I really did. Like, at first, I did. But, okay. <laughs> like, for that, like, one episode, yeah. <laughs> but I may have liked him for maybe a few minutes. I just yeah. feel like they hype him and Hope up so much as this epic love story, but there's no chemistry there's between no them There's no chemistry at all. And Danielle no. literally has chemistry with every, every single person on the show. Except for Except Wendy. for her love interest. So that's yeah. got to be saying something. She yeah. might... <laughs> Hate each other in her life. <laughs> yeah, y'all got beef. <laughs> um, Hope is definitely my favorite female character. She's a queen. Honestly, I love everything about her. This is yeah. probably controversial. I don't know if people ship this, but I see chemistry between Hope and Clark. Yeah, <laughs> like it's there. It's it really kind of like forbidden. Yeah, but it's, ship it. I mean, it's <laughs> like the brother again, but like Clark's mm-hmm. the better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they have their little moments. Okay, they do. I don't know the age difference. Like we're like over a thousand years apart. It's it fine. Matter. It's fine. <laughs> Your favorite girl out of Hope, Lizzie, Josie. Hope. My girl. Hope. Yep. Second would be Josie. See, Lizzie's my favorite. I, cause I, I just relate to Lizzie. Lizzie's my second favorite. I love her sarcasm and like her witty like mm-hmm. humor. Yes. Yeah. Humor on point. She's yeah. a material. Girl. I feel like she's relatable. Too. <laughs> she is very relatable, she's relatable to the modern day woman. I like Josie's a crybaby. Josie. Me and Hannah was we were like binge watching Legacies one day. I like and Josie. Though. Literally yeah, every like single her. episode. Josie would shed like at least one tear. I'd be like, she "There's her tear." Her the talking, <laughs> and then there'd just be a tear, and I'm like, "There goes her one tear for the episode." Like one tear has to come out of her eyeball. Honestly, every See, that's why like, I, like her. I do that every day. Yeah. <laughs> Liz- if I don't cry, then she's relatable to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lizzie's relatable to me because she ha- she also struggles with like all these things, like because like I'm on off. I'm an all freaking kind of medicines. My life's a mess. And if I had magical powers like her, I would freaking go crazy and blow things up and make things. Like, I would burst out like that, too. But then I would pull myself together because I need to get it right. And she wants, like, everything. Yes. You know? I'm very competitive. I see that. <laughs> Daddy Rick again. Just um, Kaylee Bryant, uh, who plays Josie, <laughs> she was a fan of the Vampire Diaries stuff. Like, she watched it, and she watched it as a fan. So, I thought that was awesome for her to oh, get yeah. to I, She's living the dream, you know what? Like, hey, if I got a call, like, hey, you want to come be on here? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'll come right now. <laughs> it's like, my dream. Like, honestly, it's my favorite show. And then l- coming and staying here in this town. Like, I love this town so much. I would I would die if I was on that show. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I was kind of hoping I'd get discovered today while I'm mean, looking like Rebecca. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, look, I was walking around, like, in my little cosplay today. And I was like, it's maybe... Great. Maybe one of these guys sitting at this coffee shop works on the show, and he would come over and be like, 
Before hey, we you're came, the look we're looking for. Before, yeah, we're looking for three girls to play these evil witches. <laughs> Would y'all be interested? I was hoping yes. they'd be like, we're looking for a Lark's love interest. <laughs> <laughs> And coincidentally, her name is Hannah, too. <laughs> the character. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about our trip as a whole. Yeah. We've had some crazy things happen just since we got here yeah. yesterday. So, we woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning yes, on Friday. Did. Yes, we did. And made our way down to Mystic Falls. It's I went to bed at 3.30 a.m. Friday and woke up at 4. Fun fact about Caden, <laughs> this bitch don't sleep. I don't. <laughs> Like, I've At only all. seen you sleep maybe one time. I've known you since you were, like, eight years old. <laughs> and I've maybe seen her close her eyes one time and actually been asleep. Yeah. And how long was the sleep? Maybe, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she sleeps. I think she's, like... I get power naps, pretty much. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. So, you um, yeah. I, I, it's hard for me to take a nap. But, like, when I go to bed and I, I, I sleep, I wake up a couple of times. But I get about... Five or six hours a night, which is not the best, but that's, that's about all I get. I'm very me. in between. I either sleep two hours or I sleep 12. There's no <laughs> in between. I either don't sleep or I sleep too much. See, yeah. two hours is like the most sleep I'll get. But you're probably used to it. Yeah. I you, think Your body's that's probably wrong. like used to that. Yeah. Do you have like crazy. really bad insomnia? Like, mm-hmm. do you yeah. need to take medicine for that? Take there was this. Uh, <laughs> See, I've I know this some before, and like I was still like wide awake. Like after I got my wisdom teeth out, I was awake. I did not sleep once. I had to be at our tour, um, and then our tour got pushed back a little bit because of the rain. But we did get to go on our tour. It was lovely. We went with uh, Vampire Stalkers tours. Um, it was great. And let me sit up front with the driver because I'm a super fan. And did a tour of the whole Lockwood Mansion and everything. Um, this was really funny. Um, the guy, one of the guys that boy. lives there. Baby. Um, I asked one of the, the guys that lived there. And I was like, so just please just tell me about Joseph Morgan. So, you know, he was going on and on about Joseph Morgan. And then he, like, picks up his phone and he's like, yeah, hello. Like, I was like. Are you like calling Joseph up or something? And for a minute, I got scared. I was like, "Is Joseph about to answer the phone?" No, <laughs> I cried. No, what if he literally just called him up and we talked? To him? That I wish that would have happened because I would like made my whole life. I mean, I would. I would probably passed out. Yeah, same. I want to kiss him. <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry if y'all hear this dog barking. Like I said. He's on crack or something. Honestly, Legacies call me up. I literally live three hours away, and I w- I'm willing we'll to move. We'll make the drive. I'm willing to move. <laughs> this Y'all literally don't know how much this show means to me. Like, I, this show is the reason I'm sitting in this freaking chair right now. Because I've been through some hard times, and this show has helped me through that. We love it. And it has everything I like in it. And they did everything perfectly. So, we went to the Lockwood Mansion first. Yeah. And like we said, it was awesome. We got to see, you know, first we went to the front, and they told all the scenes that were filmed there, and she asked a bunch of questions, like, who's Team Damon, which a bunch of people were, and she was like, who's Team Stefan, and, like, two people were Team Stefan, and they got judged, by the way. And then, <laughs> yeah. 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 we all glared at one point, point um, those that were Team, team Stefan, like, we were, I think we were, like, out in the woods, and she was like, Team Stefan, just, just go get back on the bus, go away. <laughs> And then she was like, who's Team Klaus? We were yeah. all three Team Everyone but Stefan. Yeah. yeah. She was like, who likes Kai? I mean, and we were one of the few that raised our hands. Like, not like a lot did. And they were, they, she was like, well, there's something wrong with you. She was like, are y'all okay? <laughs> no. We were like, absolutely not. <laughs> no, I'm not. not. Thank you. But. I love Kai. <laughs> it's just something about Kai. I mean, he's it's handsome. Chris Wood. Of course. But, yeah. Chris Wood. <laughs> I mean,. Honestly, do we relate to Kai? He's crazy. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I relate yeah. very much. I, we went to the Lockwood Mansion, and <laughs> <laughs> actually, <laughs> they informed us that the fountain that's in front of the Lockwood Mansion, one thing I found interesting was mm-hmm. when Klaus drowned Mrs. Lockwood, it was not actually in the fountain in front yeah, of Yeah, it was the a Lockwood little, Mansion. it was too, like, shallow. It wasn't up high enough. So, they built, like, a replica of it. Mm-hmm. Um, like, on their set. 
So that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. I found that very interesting. And then when we went to the backyard after we petted their cats, <laughs> we, we went to the after backyard. We. And they had the arch where uh, Caroline and Stefan got married, and that yeah. was really cool. And they had the bench where Klaus and Caroline sat on their and first, like, like, little like, flirtation date. And, like, he was, like, on their date, date yeah. and he was taunting her, like... Yeah. I, we I took a picture there. there. Yeah. yeah. We did. It was cool. It was pretty nice. That was cool. The next thing they kind of took us to, we saw where the Delana Rain kiss happened. Mm-hmm. We saw where uh, Jenna's... Aunt funeral. Jenna's trash can. Aunt Jenna's trash yeah, where her funeral was held, like where her gravestone was, there is now a trash can there. So no, they moved the trash can yeah. to have her funeral there. Yeah. And then they put it back. And they yeah. put, put it back. So if you look up hashtag Aunt Jenna's trash can on Instagram, you'll, you you'll, can find out where Aunt Jenna was buried. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Which, she, Jenna deserves so much more. And she was so out of the loop and she yeah. didn't know. Yeah. I feel bad for her. Actually. Yeah. But like that whole area doubled as the college, yeah. as, as a what graveyard. My college, a yeah. graveyard. It was the rain kiss. Yeah. Um, it was, it was also the scene where the other side comes crashing down. Yeah, and Graham's, and Graham's like, back. comes to Bonnie. Mm-hmm. Who apparently does, like, did that uh, whole thing she in did one, one take. One take. One take. Like, it took them, like, I think she said, She like, came in. Yep. She's 20 minutes here. She got her check. She got in her car. She was out of town. Literally, <laughs> yeah, that's, literally what, that's what yeah. she said. Yeah. She was like, we could see, like, because, like, the whole crew was, like, you know, blocked off. But they were like... We've seen them, like, we've seen her get out of her van. She said her lines. She got her money, and she got back in her van and left. Yep. It was 20 minutes. <laughs> Literally 20 minutes. They did it in one take, and they said that never, never happens. happens. Like, they said, you know, even if it looks perfect, they always do a second one just in mm-hmm. case, but they didn't. And it was like, that they was just it. Told she was good. She was, was it. You're good. Yep. <laughs> so, the next we got back on the Charlie, we see in Graham's house. Mm-hmm. Um, Isabel's, Isabel's house. Isabel's uh, house. Isabel's house. Um, we seen Elena's house and Caroline's house, which are right next door to each other. And they did, they got a lot of the houses, like, close to each other, so they, like, they had to block off that part. Yeah. They could film at these two different locations. Right. And get some footage done on the same day right there. Mm-hmm. And then Tyler's house is literally right down the road. Yeah. Yeah. You could, it, they're within walking distance. Yeah. And it's all within walking distance of the square. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and we've seen the house where Bonnie got the power of yeah, 100 that, witches. Yeah. Yeah, we did. And we also, <laughs> we also saw Michael Myers' childhood home. Yes. Yeah. That made me so happy. Yeah, that was cool. I took a picture of it. I think I saw a curtain move upstairs in the window. <laughs> and it was kind of insane. And um, Sweet Magnolias was filmed here, too. They just try to be Mr. Frost so bad. <laughs> Corner Spa from Sweet Magnolias. Yeah. We saw it. Yeah, it's like I don't care. two minutes from here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, we could walk to it right now. Yeah. It was pretty cool. We yeah. saw a lot of things. And then, after that, we got walked out of our house. Thanks to my mom. Thanks to Kelbert Gilbert. Because <laughs> <laughs> we rented, like, this Airbnb, and the lady, um, her name's Cody, she sent my mom, like, the password. Because it's, like, one of the automated locks. Mm-hmm. She sent her the password to get in the door. And we had came to the house before. You know, got in. Everything worked perfectly. I mean, and she deleted the freaking this. email. She deleted the email. With yeah, the we get back. Out. And we were, like, asking, like, hey, what's the code? Because, like, you know, we had been out all day. We had to, like, use the restroom. And so we're all running to the door. And my mom's like. She said that so politely. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Kate. She's talking so polite, and she never does. It's really nice. <laughs> it's hard. We all had to use the bathroom, and we was running to the door <laughs> with the groceries we bought. And I would not put them groceries down because I said the second that door opens, I don't want to even have a second to pick up my groceries. I'm running in. But we Mama all had to pee so bad. Was looking for the email. First of all, she doesn't have a signal here. She wasn't connected to the Wi-Fi. None of us had a signal, really. Mm-mm. Like it was terrible. And then she was like. Oh, I deleted the email. <laughs> God, was awful. Anyways, we got back and in our we house. We had the tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, the one or two, two or three, three with hail. hail. <laughs> no, it was we, very windy. We literally checked the weather on the way down here, and that is what the weather said. It said expect one, one or, or two, two or three tornadoes, tornadoes with, with hail. hail. I was like, sounds perfect. Yeah. And yeah, so we crazy. sat outside for 25 to 30 minutes mm-hmm. while our moms drove up the road to get a signal and then called us and told us the password to get into the house. Oh, wow. It was a mess. 
Yeah. Anyways, the next day we got up. We went to the little bread and butter bakery. Delicious. Um, it was so good. Honestly, like this whole little town, like it's I've so been cute. saying the whole time, it reminds me of a little Hallmark town. The, this town is just so picturesque and so like I don't know if it's just because we grew up in the freaking middle of nowhere but this town is so perfect and there's the children eating ice cream and everyone we've met has just been so nice we're in Wanda vision <laughs> we really like, are like, <laughs> I really literally. think they've been compelled like literally everybody's walking around the town they're smiling like they people came up today. to us like you prom, look so yeah. pretty like the yeah i got told to that us. like eight times today literally i love your outfit like I, you guys are so gorgeous like everybody's so like nice. i just want to live here because they just be hyping you up yes <laughs> and i'm like go follow my podcast but anyway thank you uh-huh. <laughs> um but honestly yeah. i feel like they're either compelled i think we've all been compelled i think that's we've all theory. been compelled that's why we've had such a great time it's good salvatore boarding school after <gasps> we got ready it was amazing it was oh yes. my god so awesome. just seeing it in person i was like it's and it's crazy because the Sign security, <laughs> like, we got lucky. Yeah, Here's the security at the Salvatore boarding school is very, very tight. And like, we've been told several times by the tourists. there. You, you can't. They're very tight. Like, do anything. They'll take your picture I was picture, determined to. You. Like, they'll I call was, the cops. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can't go there. But, but I was determined. Like, I'm I'm getting my content. So, after we were told mm-hmm. that, we were like, I think it's a good idea to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> but the security lady was really, really nice. She was nice. very sweet. Yeah. She was eating her blue Doritos, just <laughs> Chilling on the phone. And we were told that sometimes, depending on who's up there, like, you do get lucky. Like, yeah, sometimes they do let you, but very rare. But Most we got lucky. take your picture in your car tag picture. Yeah. And call the cops. Yeah. <laughs> but we took pictures. We made a TikTok. And she was very nice. Mm-hmm. And it was really cool. It was. It was great. But after that, we came back to town square and ate at the grill it was mystic grill great honestly the food here too like everywhere we've been has been amazing amazing There's things food. that don't even sound good like that they are ate, good. um what was it like a grilled cheese with like blackberry, blackberry jam sauce. yeah like and then weird was stuff i've weird had a stuff. lot of goat cheese which i love she's yeah. been eating goat so just, this whole time goat cheese <laughs> she's gonna turn into a goat <laughs> Man. We're gonna take home a goat tomorrow. <laughs> the food since we've been here, like, has been really good, and everything's just been. I mean, I just I, we're. I think we're compelled, honestly. Like something it's too is perfect. It is like everyone's just been saying, "You're so pretty." Oh my goodness! Compliments like, after compliments. Yeah, it's, everyone's been so nice. Yeah, I love it here. Nice. It's suspicious. It's that's weird. It's suspicious. <laughs> this show means so much to me. Like, please, one, if you put me on the show, I like you only live once, and I just want to be a part of this so bad. It's like my favorite thing in the whole entire world, especially so, after being here. Yeah, like, yeah. So it, I feel like the cast had so much fun here. Like, I they love definitely it. did. So, all right, this is my three things. Like, either put me on the show, okay. One, I know vampires are are real. Someone come turn me right now. <laughs> and three, I really just want to move here. Like, I love it. <laughs> they have a lot of variety mm-hmm. of things to do. Like, it's crazy. I Everything don't know. here is just so Maybe cute. we just live in the worst town in the world. Yeah, that's probably We find good. everything that might beautiful. Be too. I was just going to ask y'all a question. Like, when you think about the show, like, what's... The th- first thing you think of when someone mentions the show. Damon. Lark. <laughs> Class. <laughs> okay, besides people, though, I just think of... I just, like, besides people and, like, like vampires It just has like everything that. that I'm looking for. Like, yes. Like, I don't know. It's amazing. And I love it. And I cry. And I the rewatch romance. it every year. Yeah. I mean, I love a good romance, but I have to have some kind of supernatural something thrown into it. I can't just sit there and watch contemporary romance. Like, I want something. I mean, the villains are iconic. Like, yeah. the acting Kai's is phenomenal. Kai's just the ultimate villain. And I hate when, like, um, especially guys, like, people, like you say, well, my favorite show is The Vampire Diaries. So they're like, oh, you're stupid. Oh, yeah. I've seen, like, a bunch of guys wearing, like, Mystic Grill shirts and, like, walking around taking pictures. Oh, yeah. Like, at Caroline's cool. house, they were, like, taking pictures. I was like, it's weird. Fans. <laughs> right. Because I like a I, lot I of the like guys and stuff that I talk to, like they were like ah, Oh that's why girly. That's, why are you watching it? What? D has why are you watching that Twilight it? crap? D has oh started my God. it. Ugh. He likes it so far. He's on season two. Mm-hmm. Oh. And he's Team Stefan. He'll change. 
I, hope I don't so. know. D. D likes the good guys, so I don't know. He'll like Matt. Yeah. I like Matt. I love Matt. I like Matt, and he he's a lot of hate. I don't know why. Brandy has prepared a little game for us to play. Mm. Oh, we're going to play Kiss, Mary Kill with <laughs> some Vampire Diaries originals, Legacy characters. And this is going to be a lot of fun. So we have enough for five rounds. So we're each going to draw a name, and we're each going to decide who we would Kiss, Mary Kill. And there's a variety of different ones. All right. Hannah? I'm out of blood. I'm almost out. Same. I killed that thing. You're about to be dead again. We, we brought you back. We gave you just enough blood to be in the video, and then you're going to go yeah, back to death. Yeah, for real. Got it there. All right, Brandy, who'd you get? Oh, sorry. I was drinking my blood. Mm. You already worked. Yeah, All right, so I got Stefan. I got oh. Matt. I got a warrant. <gasps> oh, my God. I feel like I would marry Matt. Out of, like, I feel like me and Matt would have a good life. Yeah, like, would. He would be good to me. He would. He would be good. Yeah. He would be a good husband. He's the mayor of the town right now. I mean, I can be the mayor's wife. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> and so he knows how to support himself. Yeah. I mean, he's done it his whole life. Yes, yeah, like he, he knows <laughs> how to work and be a man and do the man things. That's so. true. Who would y'all want to marry? Alaric. Duh. I'm stuck. I say I would kill Stefan, but like, I, I don't know. I feel like Stefan would be a good kisser, honestly. Like, I feel like y'all are going to hate me for this one, but, uh... Kiss Stephen, kiss Stephen, kill Matt, Mary Lark. Okay. Gosh. See, I, I could say that, but... So, who are you marrying? You haven't even decided one I'm thing. I'm saying right now, like, y'all kill Lark. Oh, no, I couldn't kill Lark. No, I, I'm not going to kill him. Like, okay, so he this would. is what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, marry Matt. I'm going to kiss Lark and kill Stephen. Okay. And what are you doing, Hannah? I already said I'm gonna kiss Stefan, kill Matt, and marry Alaric. I think I would marry Alaric. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Gosh. But you can't have him. No, I've already married him. <laughs> <laughs> Sister wives. Yeah. Um, you gotta be quick. Matt and Stefan, it's hard. Mm -hmm. I would probably. I might would kiss Matt, kill Stefan. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Next round. Yeah. We all did something different. I like that. Okay. I got Cade. I got Marcel. Oh. I got Jeremy. Oh, I already. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with this. All right. So, so we're killing the devil by Cade. We're killing Cade. Yeah, he can go. He can go back to where he came from. Um, I'm gonna marry Marcel. I'm going to kiss Marcel and marry Jeremy. I'm doing the same. Yeah. I feel like Jeremy's my type. Honestly, if I went to school. I would, I'd be looking at Jeremy. If we and Jeremy went to school together, I would be looking at Jeremy. I'm going to kiss Jeremy, marry Marcel, and kill Kate. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, oh, my oh God. My God. This is about to be hard, isn't it? Is. I got Damon. I got Vincent. I got Elijah. <laughs> Damon, Vincent, oh. and Elijah. This is Hannah's worst I nightmare. Can't. This is your worst nightmare. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll take one for the team. Marion Damon. Yeah, Marianne I'm Marion Damon. Marianne Damon. Oh, I'll Marion Damon. Marion um, Damon. Elijah and Vincent. Who do you, wait, who do you think would be the better kisser? I'm kissing Vincent and killing Elijah. I can't kill Vincent. I'm sorry. I cannot kill Vincent. I'm sorry. I'm I killing Vincent. I can't kill I'm Vincent. killing Vincent. I'm kissing Elijah. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I didn't want to do it. He looks too much like D. I can't. <laughs> Could you look Vincent in the eye? I can't just, do it. Oh. Elijah's lived a long life. I like I this one. I'm sorry. Oh, I got one. It's Dude. me and the originals. I got Cole. I got Uncle John. I got Klaus. Okay, well, I'm marrying Klaus. Who'd you get? Kissing Cole. Cole and Uncle John's out of here. Kill Uncle John, kiss Cole, marry Klaus. Yep. Um, Klaus, Cole, Damon are my top three, so, you know, but I'm, I mean, Klaus or Cole. Mary and Klaus, kiss and Cole by Uncle John. Yeah, Uncle John. That was easy. That yeah. was an easy one. I'd say, who's left? Okay. Kai. Tyler. MG. <gasps> I'm going to marry I'm going to marry MG, too. I feel he would treat me, me good. I'm going to marry MG. I'm going to kiss Kai, and I'm going to kill Tyler. 
I'm gonna do the same thing. Well, I'm doing the opposite. I'm gonna kill MG. Oh, oh, he's a baby! Me. He's a child! He's a child! <laughs> Protect him! Um, kiss and Ka, Mary and Tyler, and MG's. Gotta go. Oh my god. Sorry. He's just a baby. I'm sorry. Kaden, he's precious. Okay. He's he would treat baby. you I so good. I hope you liked this Mystic Falls on location themed episode. So we're gonna walk to downtown now and go see this some get ice cream. <laughs> this was definitely <laughs> very special for us. I hope you guys loved it as much as we did. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, TikTok. Legacies <laughs> Producers. I'm right here. I will do anything. Come you find us. Do, honestly, you don't even have to freaking pay me. Like, <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> Kaden, um, thank you for being on the podcast. Kaden, it's been so nice. You've been so nice to me the whole time. I know. It's weird. <laughs> We're out, they fight all the time, yeah. y'all. And we I'm like the, the mediator. Best love, hate Y'all see why I'm sitting in the middle. Oh, here comes our moms. The mothers. Well, I guess they're tired it. of the dog. Follow us on all platforms and give us a like, comment, subscribe if you like this episode, and that's all. Brandy disappeared, but um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>